Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get this look. As usual, I didn't know what I was doing, but I had this new Violet Voss palette, the Pro Eyeshadows Holy Grail palette. Um, I didn't know this was coming in the mail, then it showed up, and I didn't even like know what to expect because I didn't even know what it looked like, and then I opened it, and I died. Like, you should have heard the noise that came out of my mouth. My brother was like, okay, you need to like actually stop. Whoever was in charge of this, whoever sat down, who chose the colors, they did such a good job. And not just the colors that they chose, but the formula is beautiful. This is my first time, this video is my first time using the palette, and I'm very, very, very impressed. I did not get any fallout. There's crazy color payoff. Um, you know when you like dip your brush into it and then you kind of like tap it off to make sure that there's no fallout? like nothing came off it really holds onto the bristles it's it's really amazing this color i only used three of these shades they're all stunning but i only used three i used this one what's this called wine and dine hashtag and crystal that's it that's all i used and um i'm obsessed like this combination is amazing just those three like is for me is the reason to have this palette this color right here crystal i want violet Voss. I want you to come out with this as a highlighter because I will use it every single day of my life. Every day. And I will tell my friends to use it. I'm watching you. All right, so if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. So this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Holy Grail palette. And when you open it up, you'll totally understand why it's called that. Are you ready? Are you kidding? This color right here is why I wake up in the morning. Like, it's the reason for my life. It's the reason that I was born. It's the reason that I wake up and don't feel depressed and like wonder what, what is the meaning of life. It's right here. That, that's it. That's the meaning of life right there. So um, I'll be using that color today. I have no direction. Like, I don't really know. I just immediately, when I saw that red, I was like, I'm using that so that's gonna be on my eyes okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Luxie 229 tapered blending brush and I'm gonna pick up this orange color hashtag is what it's called and I'm just gonna start building up the crease I've been like really into bringing a lot of color like into the inner, like this inner part right here. I used to be like really afraid of bringing stuff in there, but I've been embracing it recently. It just like makes it look so like edgy. Now I'm going to take that same color on my Real Techniques shading brush and I'm gonna just go along the lower lash line. There's like no fallout with these shadows. Like I'm, when I go to tap off my brush, it like, it really holds onto the brush, which is nice. And the pigment is crazy. Like, look at that. Would you just look at it? Oh, this orange color is to die. I'm falling in love with this, like I did with um, Makeup Geek Chickadee. It's got that like same kind of vibe. simple but I have all these fun colors to play with so I'm gonna take my Sigma E54 brush my medium sweeper brush and I'm going to start going in with wine and dine because um, I like can't really contain myself like I'm just so excited to use that um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off slow because I don't know what I'm doing I think what I'm gonna do is pack it in on the outer and inner corner I want to just like cover the lid completely, but I don't know. So I'm going to start off with that. Okay. Fuck. 
fuck, I don't know what to do because it's so badass. I'm gonna cover my whole lid with this because um, it's killer. into hashtag with my 217 brush and just kind of buff out those edges. I'm like, I wanna be really careful because that color is just so perfect that I don't wanna like lose any of the intensity. So now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques smudge brush with Wine and Dine and I'm going to go along the lower lash line. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go back in with the shading brush and hashtag and I'm just going to kind of like smoke underneath that red. look done like literally this done all set like that's all i needed those two shades good i'm good on my eyes like i really wanted to use other colors but <laughs> all right so now i'm going to highlight my brow bone um inner corner and the rest of my face using crystal this shade right here, which is like, it's, it's so stunning. Like, it's really, really beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? Holy shit, dude. Before I highlight my cheekbones, I'm going to use this City Color Timeless Beauty Palette, and I'm gonna go in with um, I'm gonna go in with this middle, like blush overlay shade, the shimmery one, and uh, just use that as a blush. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that. I really like using that as a blush because it's super super shimmery. Like if you swatch it, it's like a, a shadow or a highlight. Um, but I only need a small amount of it because it is kind of dark for my skin tone. So it works really beautifully as a blush, um, but it just gives the cheek like a really nice like luminosity. Is that beautiful? It's like my new favorite blush of all time. I love it. All right, now I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with Crystal, which is my new favorite highlight shade. Just like placing it on my, in the inner corner, I was like done. Like they need to make this an actual highlighter and I will wear it every single day. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that intense, but then you apply it and it's like, badass. So I curled my lashes and I applied a coat of mascara, and, and now I'm gonna go in with the Royal Eye Candy Lashes in the style Anastasia. They look like this. Can you see that? They're super fluffy and amazing. They're like one of my favorite lashes ever. I actually have a coupon code to get these for 10% off. I'll put it like in this general direction. Um, okay, so I'm gonna apply those with tweezers and I'm gonna use the Duo Dark Tone Glue. If you do this and you don't have any eyeliner on, be very, very careful. All right, lashes are on. Um, so I literally just got this package while I was in the middle of filming and I had to stop and go answer the door because the uh, delivery guy was like banging on the door really, really hard. This is the OPV Matte Lip in Sassy Girl and it matches my shirt pretty well. So I'm just gonna, so what I'm gonna do is line my lips with the NYX lip pencil in Nude Beige. And the way that I overline my lips is um, 
I like to make them a little more full on the outer corners of the upper lip because my lower lip is full and the center of my upper lip is full. Um, but then it kind of starts to like go down and I don't like that. So I just kind of like, I like to even it out with my lower lip. So I really just overline on the, the outer edges, but I leave my cupid's bow alone. All right, so now that I have that frame, I'm gonna go in with this liquid lip and see. It has a similar applicator to the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. It's pretty liquidy. So, all right, so I'm gonna fix my like mess up over here. It is really, really liquidy. Um, which a lot of people hate, a lot of people like. Well, actually, I don't even know if anybody likes it. I like it because when it is more liquidy, I feel like it's a lot easier to get that sharp line on the edge. Um, but it is very easy to make mistakes like that. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light and fix that. Or try to, anyway. Well, I really like it. I like the color. It's really interesting. It's not like this is never something that I would pick, especially with a bright eye like this, but I'm not mad at it. I'm into it. I think it's cool. All right, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and kind of see how I feel. I'll probably let you guys know on Snapchat. Um, okay, so now I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and this look will be complete. All right, so this is the finished look. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them down below. Follow me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Alexandra underscore Anele. Hang out with me on there. If you send me snaps, I'll snap you back. Um, I love talking to people on Snapchat. It's so much fun. I just got the nicest like snap from somebody today, um, and I had to screenshot it because it was just really, really sweet. So I really appreciate like anybody who send me, sends me snaps. Like taking the time to just tell me that my makeup is pretty. It's awesome. All right, guys, watch out for the next video, and I'll see you soon. Look at that color. Look at it. Do I have some coffee? Dude, I'm, like, at a loss. I'm, like, having, like, makeup block. I feel like a dick for wearing this shirt, though, because I feel like it's, like, not working out very well, but maybe once the whole look comes together. All right, well, angels somewhere are singing. <sighs> anyway, I don't know what this is. There's a lot of stuff in there, though. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, I really, I really, I enjoyed it, honestly. Like, it was just good. I always bring, like, five billion brushes, and I use, like, three. <laughs>